This is Clean Shave, and I want to show you how I use an emergency survival blanket as my tarp. Welcome to Backpacking America. Alright, this is my all-weather survival blanket. Um, Easy to find on Amazon. Uh, just type in all weather blanket in the search box and you'll come up with some. They range in price from anywhere from $8 up to $32, $35-ish. Um, Rothko makes one. Uh, it's the more expensive one. Uh, the other company is called Gabber. Grabber. The other company is called Grabber. Uh, they make them in a variety of colors. The brighter ones are usually cheaper. The OD green that I have is uh, a little bit more expensive. Uh, not my bunch. Um, anyway, it's a 5x7 all-weather blanket. 5x7 uh, is kind of small for a lot of people using a tarp, but it works just fine for me. As you can see, it's reflective on one side and OD green on the other. Um, this thing's great. Uh, it's durable. It's held up tons of uses. Um, I lived pretty much all winter without a sleeping bag in Florida, and I use this. It got a little cold up in the panhandle, but you know, when you're closer down to Miami, it's not bad. Um, I've used it as a ground cloth, tarp, like I said, that's what this is all about, and um, everything. I mean, this is just great. Uh, sitting around a campfire, you throw this over your shoulders, uh, cuts the wind off you, you know, keeps you warm. The reflective side does a great job. One of the big problems, the big drawbacks, is there are only four grommets, and those are at the corners. Uh, as you can see, I put some rope on uh, each of the ends. I don't want to say cordage, because I... I don't like when people say cordage. I don't know what the deal is with that. But anyway, uh, so only four. Um, I usually do an A-frame setup when I use tarps. So when I started using this one full time, uh, I didn't want to run a ridge line between two trees. So I installed a grommet myself. Uh, a little bit of Gorilla Tape slapped down. Picked up a grommet uh, installation kit at Harbor Freight for three to four dollars, somewhere in there. Uh, easy enough to do. Uh, throw some on there. I put one on each of the two ends and also even though I never use it I put a uh, extra one in the middle uh, This is a pretty easy setup um, What I do a lot of people don't do is uh, French uh, The setup that I like to do because I suck at knots. I was never in the Boy Scouts I was in Cub Scouts. Yes, but whatever you know long story short. Uh, I don't like knots so in the rain, quick setup, um, I use bungee cord, uh, a little 30 inch bungee cord. This one actually happens to be camo. I just replaced the ones that I've had for years. Um, but yeah, pretty easy. You know, loop it around a tree, bing boom, you know, just slip the hooks right inside the grommet hole and stretch it out. And then I'll either stake this end to the ground and then use the tie outs to open it up into a tent or um you know i can bungee cord this to another tree right there you know for instance that becomes my ridge line um the tarp itself weighs 10 ounces or the all-weather blanket i should say weighs 10 ounces uh fits up pretty good in the outside pouch in my pot in my backpack and uh the bungee cords each themselves weigh just under three ounces so, i mean all, all together 10 plus almost six you know you're talking a pound but I love this thing. Uh, it does great. It's durable. Uh, I use it for more than just a tarp. Um, you know, it, it always stays in my pack no matter what. Uh, a lot of people on YouTube uh, tend to talk about stuff like this. You know, and they, they'll tell you the specs, like what kind of coating this is and you know, how big it is, where it was made. I don't know, all that kind of stuff. And you'll see that they have brand new ones, brand new in the bag. And, you know, they just took it out and they're, they're showing it to you. It's supposed to be a product review, but they've never used it. Uh, this is actually something I have lived in. Um, this is something I've used on many occasions. I actually lent this to a friend who lived in Knoxville, Tennessee for a week with it. Uh, living right there by the Sun Sphere. This was his home. Um, but I got it back and it doesn't smell like cigarette smoke anymore. So, but uh, this is a good item for me. I like it. Uh, it's a little bit bulkier than the sill nylon tarp that I was doing before, but that one was blue. Um, one of the main reasons I got rid of it is I do a lot of self camping. This is OD green, and while I have considered putting a little bit of spray paint on here to break it up, break up the pattern a little, 
Uh, it's just not something I've gotten around to. I don't want to spend like, you know, four or five bucks on a can of spray paint, use it for a couple minutes, and then, then what? I'm not going to carry it around. Um, I don't have homes like a lot of these people that you see on YouTube um, who store a bunch of crap in. I mean, you're looking at my home right there. My backpack is my home. An item I use a lot, uh, the tie-outs. Uh, these are actually brand new. I just added them. Um, the old ones are getting worn and frayed. Uh, you, you don't need more than a few feet on each corner. Uh, I use, Like I said, I usually do an A-frame setup. And if I'm cowboy camping, this is enough for me. Uh, I got my bivy. And if I'm hammock camping, this is enough to cover my hammock. Um, this, like I said, stretch between two trees. Boom. Done. Or stake it to the ground. And now I got a little, little house for the night. Um, like I said, cowboy camping, if I know it's not going to rain, I'll throw this underneath me, you know, with my ground cloth on the, and my ground sheet on the ground. Uh, this on top of that as an extra reflective device, you know, a more, little more insulation. And then my sleeping pad, which, you know, is just a yoga mat anyway. It doesn't really do a lot of good, but uh, it's something. And this adds a little bit to that. So the all-weather blanket as a tarp is a fantastic idea for me. It works for me, and that's what this is all about, what works for me as I, you know, backpack and live in my backpack, live out of my backpack, going across America, checking things out, seeing what there is to see, seeing what people do. Bing!